we're doing today. So this is part two of my bedside tables. If you saw the last video, you would have seen that I did a nice little tiny side table that I got off Trade Me for $1.50 in Abusom Blue. So I thought I'd better show you the other side table. It is not a table, so to speak. I'm not even actually sure what it is. Like, I think it's like a cabinet that you... I don't know. It's it's weird. Look. And it's awfully glary. Sorry, that's the ninja star. That's my husband's. But it's this weird little cabinet. And it totally... Like, it's got a door that opens on the front and everything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. And you can totally, like flip it round like it's the same I won't flip it round I was just about to so I'm not sure what it is so if you guys know can you please tell me like I got it off trade me I think it was 20 or 25 dollars which is big spending fillers today's technique is just going to be real basic real simple you should be able to get these done in an afternoon like that I mean honestly like I love this paint this paint is the greatest thing sliced bread. <laughs> so if you want to see how we achieved this cool very basic although awesome look on my little bedside table stick around. So this is today's colour it's Abusan Blue yet again sorry if it said wrong um, and we're going to do the usual Liz technique exactly what we did on our other bedside table which is just grabbing any paintbrush you like and slapping it on an emotion that follows the grain of the wood. So just follow the grain of the wood and you pretty much can't go wrong. This is gonna be a very basic and simple tutorial. All we are doing is putting a couple of coats of paint on and some clear wax. And I'm just trying to show you how simple and easy it is. I mean, for goodness sake, you can see in there, I haven't even dusted. I have been that lazy with this project haven't even dusted. I kind of just, I got it off Trade Me and I was just like, I want to paint that now. So I just masking taped off the window on the front of it and just slapped paint on it. Like it was crazy. <laughs> um, the varnish on this, it was very thick and I just couldn't be bothered sanding it. As I said, I just wanted to get the paint on it. But with the type of varnish it being very thick, it, the paint wasn't adhering particularly well. So what I did is I just got it on as best as I could. I just slapped it on as best as I could because I knew that would kind of create a base for the next coat to go on. So I just did the first coat of paint following the grain of the wood, left that to dry, and then we are now doing the second coat of paint, just covering the whole thing. Now, also with this project, I had to water down the paint. I was like, oh my goodness, I'd used like just over half of this test pot on the other project and I, I don't know, I just had wishful thinking that the other half was going to be enough for that project. So I watered it down, shook it up and it worked perfectly and then I left it to dry. Then we are taking the clear wax, once again we are using, what are we using there? It's an old face cloth and we are just following the grain of the wood once again just rub it in a back and forth motion and you can see here I'm just showing you what it looks like with the wax and without the wax so can you see how it really it literally changes the color and it changes the texture of the paint it takes away that real chalkiness from it and gives it a nice soft smooth velvety finish now this is a little bit embarrassing we're gonna do the the window reveal and you will just see how dirty the actual window is. It's actually, it's embarrassing. Sorry, not sorry. Just, yeah, I'm just peeling off the tape. Come on, Liz. And ta-da! Here we have it. I think it looks super cute. I'm not sure what it was before, honestly, guys. I have no idea. So guys, what do you think about that? I know it's pretty much the same as the last tutorial that I did, but this one I didn't sand, so it just, showed the paint going on different surfaces slightly if that makes sense hopefully it makes sense anyway guys if you have any like ideas or you know input or likes or whatever just leave them down below and as per usual i am the former miss m and i wish i was a rich girl bye guys